Hello everyone, Mrs. Cece here. Today I'm going to read a book that's part of our jungle unit. Um, it is also a poetry unit. The book um, will take us through a rhyming safari, so there will be a lot of rhymes in this book. And rhymes are words that sound the same. So as we read each one, listen for words that sound the same. The name of the book is Rumble in the Jungle. The author is Giles Andre, and the publisher is Scholastic. And Scholastic is allowing teachers to read books to children and record them. Each page will have a different rhyming poem about an animal. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the water hole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Oh, the chimpanzees. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's Fleas. Ew. The lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. The elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephing around. The zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes, and since they make me look handsome and cool. The snake. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes and swallows his prey. He knows it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much better that way. Oh, and the giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up high and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which happen, which hippos like doing a lot. Next is the crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Oh, the rhino. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch and that makes him terribly happy. The gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping, gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. Ooh, the gorilla. A gorilla is big, black, and hairy. And the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his great giant, giant chest. I want a little one too. The leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. And the tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. Look at all these animals. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den, 
So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. The end. So this is a great book with lots of different animals. Um, to go with this, you can make your own jungle leaf. We will have on Shutterfly posted, the three Shutterfly will have posted some jungle animal coloring so you can color them and get some help to cut them out and then they can get glued on your own jungle leaf. So thank you all so much. Um, maybe listen again and see which is your favorite jungle animal. Have a good day.